Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part five in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew Tomb of the Lost Queen. We finally figured this puzzle out and got the actual right combination. My dictionary could help translate that. It apparently also says something. A queen is buried here. I knew it. Great King's wife, Lady of the Two Lands, beloved of Mutt. Great King's wife, it's huh? It's still sealed. Oops. Okay, I broke the seal, apparently. Dark, dark room. Flashlight? Whoa! What are you doing? I think we found the tomb! And by we, I've I mean I. I've gotta see this myself. Brilliant! Who is that? It's magnificent. <sighs> what is this? Look at the hieroglyph. There is something very important here. It's the curse. Everyone, get out of here. Oh, if I can just get this light to turn back on. No! My flashlight stopped working. That's creepy. Hi, Nancy. Do you think this really is Nefertari's tomb? I really hope so. Why isn't she in the tomb in the Valley of the Queens? What? There could be a lot of reasons. The worst case is grave robbers, but we really don't think that's the case. Why not? Because her valuables were found, but her body wasn't. Doesn't make sense. We think she was hidden. Ramses II was known to be very protective, and he was very concerned about the afterlife. It's possible Ramses built a false tomb to make sure she'd be undisturbed. There are many stories of his love for her, but we don't know how true they are. If he went through so much trouble, don't you feel strange about disturbing her tomb? No. Someone will do it eventually. If we get there first, she'll be treated with respect, and she'll truly get to live on forever. If someone else finds her, she'll go to the highest bidder. If you're so interested in Nefertari, why aren't you below? Promise you won't make fun of me? Sure. I'm a woman of science, okay? But the curse thing rattled me. I need to do research now anyway. I'd prefer to do it where nothing will fall on me, and maybe get a little face time with a certain British someone. Do you think there's something to this curse? I've studied curses, so look. Don't make me say it. Say what? Yes, I do. Even reading about curses gives me the creeps. Why are you reading about curses if they give you the creeps? I know, it's weird. It's like if I can learn everything about curses, then maybe they won't have any control over me. I can tell that you probably don't believe in curses, so please don't make fun of me. How can you tell I don't believe in curses? Sorry, I'm just a bit worked up. I'm probably just being oversensitive. You're too calm. Do you know how effective curses are? They are deadly 76.42% of the time. You know what else has that fatality rating? White water rafting with a hungry bear. Who also has the bird flu and he's holding dynamite. <laughs> what did you think about being there to finally open the tomb? I don't know what to think. When I was near it, it just felt... No, it's stupid. What? Something was in that room with me. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. At least not anymore. Don't go in there. What's that book? Curses of the World, the Compendium of Cruel Curses and Curious Casualties. It does have a lot of C's. That doesn't seem like light reading. I was originally going to go into paleontology, but no, I changed my mind freshman year. Why did no one tell me about how creepy curses are when I switched majors? Dinosaurs were bad news back in the day, but now? Totally safe. Mummies, on the other hand? I make poor life choices. Curses aren't real. You'll be fine. No. No more taunting the curse. At least not around me. I'm too young to die out here. I have things to do. I'm still in school. I haven't even started my life yet. I'm not tempting fate here, Nancy. I refuse. Okay, I can respect that. I'll catch you later. See ya. <clears throat> Just keeps another person out of my way, which is fine with me. She sounds like Lucas Mittelmeyer from Captive Curse. I wonder if it's the same voice actor. And the certain British someone she was referencing is this fellow. Hello. Hello. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I'm Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, 
Good chat. Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? Why aren't you hanging out outside? I'm a little busy right now. When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? Boredom? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sum. You know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because everyone else got sick of it? That they did. Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. What do you do, exactly? As a tour guide, I show the world to those who want to see it. It's the best job on the planet, next to lion tamer or astronaut. Where do you give tours? All throughout Egypt. That sounds like a fantastic job, but why aren't you leading a tour now? It's getting very competitive these days. I need every advantage I can get. Well, that's why I'm here, to be perfectly on the level I have to be. Since you're a tour guide, can you give me any information about Egypt I might need to know? Sure, here. Well, that's helpful. And random, but cool. Why are you so sure the public would want to tour this site? Surely you've heard of the curse. I have. Do you believe in it? Of course I do. But since you're here, you must not be worried about being cursed yourself. I've been gloriously unlucky my whole life. I don't think a curse could make things much worse. Hmm. Do you really think this is Nefertari's tomb? It better be, otherwise I'm very lost. What does that mean? She's why I'm here. As a tour guide, I love the sites that tell a story. And Ramses I and Nefertari have the making of a classic love story, if we can find her here. You mean Ramses the second, right? I do? I mean, yes, I, I, I do, of course. Strange life being a king. You get everything but your own name. What do you think of Abdullah? He's got quite the ego, but I'm sure he deserves it. What makes you say that? If he didn't, no one would put up with him. History's great pioneers always tend to be a bit prickly. Sure, he's a tyrant, but he's supposed to be the best in his field. Do you think he is? Well, who knows if it's true? He's either the best or the guy who says, I'm the best, the loudest. Unfortunately, either one of those two things works equally well. You know, he's just on the edge. What do you mean? He's close to being known the world over. He must have gotten a glimpse of what that would be like. I wonder what he'd do to make it over that last hurdle. I'll catch you later. Come back anytime. All right, well, that's Dylan Carter. A rather attractive addition to our physical characters. Go ahead and take a drink. What's this? Lamp oil. Okay, lamp oil will help us if we have a lamp. Do we have a lamp? Any lamps in here? That looks like a lamp. Can we, like, charge the flashlight or something? Whoa! Flashlight's dead. I'll need to find another light source. Okay, so... It looks like someone was tampering with these wires. So we wouldn't be able to use the flashlight. Well, that's not exactly helpful or on the level. Not cool. Let's see... Where is there one in our room? We have lamp oil, but now we need a lamp. I thought I remember seeing one in here. That's our book by Hotchkiss. Can we take the lamp? I want the lamp. The lamp, not the book. The lamp, give me the lamp. Aladdin reference. Thank you very much. Um, no. Nope, she has a lamp. Wait, can we steal her lamp? Can we steal John's lamp? Why can't we take anyone's lamp? Okay, let's go look down in the tomb. Maybe there's one down here somewhere that we can use. Like, is there one on this table? No. That's not helpful. Do you have a lamp? Can I borrow your lamp? Yes. What do you think of this tomb? What are you getting at? It's amazing! The amount of detail, the size! Well, someone really important must be buried here. 
After 5,000 years of recorded history, that could be said about every hole in the ground. But that's what you think, isn't it? I don't leave the house for anything less than amazing. So, it's safe to assume this is going to be a major find? You tell me. Who do you think is buried here? No, I do not guess. Who are you hoping to find here? Who does everyone want to find? The Lost Queen. Who is that? Nefertari. Why is she lost? Over 100 years ago, they found her tomb. The most magnificent of its kind. But when they opened the tomb, do you know what they found? Uh, nothing? They found two kneecaps. The queen was nowhere to be found. Why is that? Nobody knows. I say she was never there to begin with. Do you have proof? No. The people who had proof have been dead 100 times longer than they were ever alive. So they're not talking. We have to learn to think like they did. But it's not easy. Anyone who says different lies or is stupid. Do you know Dylan? I know of him. You do? So he has a reputation? He is a very popular guide, for whatever that is worth. I do not like guides. They distort history and turn the other way, as sticky-fingered tourists steal every bit of Egypt they can find. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Not harsh enough. Every tourist thinks, what will it hurt? I'll just take one small piece of the pyramids. And they come, and they come, by the millions they come. And bit by bit, they smuggle our history back in their luggage. <laughs> They're worse than the museums. Do you think international teams have stolen artifacts from Egypt? No, I do not think. I know. You don't seem very happy to have Dylan here. Good. I'm glad you noticed. If this were my site, like it should be, he'd be out on the sand with his hat in his hand, trying to catch a ride back to Cairo. And he would never find one, because there is no street. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later. Again, such a pleasant person. Let's see if we can maybe find our way into the tomb or something. Since we have lamp oil, like, is there anything we can... The flashlight isn't working. I better find something else to light the way. If we turn around... Aha! A lamp! Great! I just need to find a way to get it working. Lamp oil. And... Fire. I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. I'm sure we could with this convoluted puzzle. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. So this is one of those directional puzzles where we want to get the light to go a certain way. So far, so good. Mm. Let's see here. What if we... Uh, direct the light other ways? <laughs> no, this isn't working. Um, what if we do something like that? No? No? Okay. What about this one? It's hard to figure out where the first problem is. I don't like when we use two of them to go the same way. Because that more I feel like more often than not, it ends up making it very difficult. So that has to go that way. Mm, and that one has to go there. And then this is where it gets, like, tricky. Let there 
there be Aha. lamp. Let there be lamp. I love lamp. I love lamp a lot. It looks like something is missing. I need like a... It looks like something is missing. Amulet or something. Ah! Okay, way too heavy. If I could make some sort of lever, I bet I could use that hole and open the coffin. Uh... What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Big giant crash. Um, let's use these wooden pieces. It looks like a spear to make a lever. Not strong enough. I need something else, too. Um... I guess we can... Oh, it's these. Oh. Jars with these little amulet things in them. Let's take those, I suppose. They appear important. Um, I guess let's go see what that crash was all about. Was it Abdullah? Did he get crushed by something? You okay? Yes. That was a close call with the scaffolding. I've seen worse. Twenty years ago, we were in a tomb, a minor site. A guy, much like your boy Dylan, kicked over a support beam and crash! It all came down. Seven of us, trapped under stones, big as automobiles. What happened? Five of us were eventually pulled out. What happened to the other two? What do you think happened? Do you think this has anything to do with the curse? Does it matter? Bye-bye. Goodbye. Interesting question. But I'm gonna take this piece of wood and don't question it, just let me do it. <laughs> that seems to be the case a lot of the time where people just let Nancy do her thing. You know, it's not worth the trouble. Okay, sturdy board and a spear. Woo! I found Nefertari, guys, I think. Okay, again. That's probably the word the. I'm just gonna assume. And actually, I think the letters are the same. The symbols are the same. The. 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 Hmm. One of these is probably a two letter word. This is a three letter word, apparently. Would this be of? Would that be an O? Or an A? Or an S? This is a two letter word. This could be an S. The cranes, maybe? The them? They? They, maybe? Hmm. He heavens? Could it be heavens? Let's try it. Heavens. That would make sense with their S, too. Seek? Maybe? Seek. Seek them out? Seek. Them. Okay, that looks like it'd be a vowel. That looks like it could be a vowel, too. Un under. Under. Under the something. Of the heavens? The something on... Oh. Something of gods. Reveal. Begins the reveal. The procession. The procession. The I need to figure out what this means. The procession of gods begins the reveal. Seek them out under the protection of the heavens. I need to get the correct gods to their proper locations. The procession of the gods. So they need to be in a certain order. That's done. 
So, if they need to be in a certain order... I wonder what that order is. There's got to be a way to figure that out, right? It won't budge. Must be locked. Yeah, locked. Okay. So we need to find the order somehow. The procession of the gods. And we need to find the scarab beetle. What's this? I bet I could translate that. Lady of Terrors, Sovereign Lady, Mistress of Destruction. My dictionary could help translate that. That's not good. Now I have to know what the rest says. Everyone who had been in this place, they are wretches. There is no remedy for them because I know their names. Beware, this is the taste of death. Darkness shall conceal them. Um... Let's see. What letters do we have here? I think this slug is T. Because isn't this the... The... Maybe this is who? The one? The one who something, the something for or on? And what is this? The one who, who opens, who broke, who something. What is this? Each symbol stands for a certain letter. What would a three letter word be? It's either, like, it could be four, maybe? Four and of? Maybe as? As for the one who broke the seal, as for the one who broke the seal, agonies of death await you. Oh dear, that's problematic. That's not good because Nancy was the one who broke the seal. <laughs> oh, Don. Well, I'm cursed. That's fantastic. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.